choice between this or going back to being a slave, then I choose to fight. What amazes me is how anyone could have that kind of power and yet keep it hidden all this time. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Let's Play Tales of Arise. Um, I'll admit I'm a little confused. I really thought that the item we got at the end of last episode was going to be the item that would end, like, like the item we were actually looking for. And it isn't. So I'm a little bit like, um, okay. So where am I actually supposed to be going? Because it was in this room. Yeah, nothing else is here. Like, we went through a lot of trouble to get this room open, so I'm a like, I'm a little just like, what? around real quick. We also had to get into this room and kill the things in here. Yet this room is completely blank. There was an elevator that was going to like potentially take us to the uh, residential area. So let me go ahead and make my way over there. Phew. <laughs> that may not have been a fancy feast we just had, but I don't remember the last time I felt this full. Do the Renans often not give you all enough to eat? It's never enough. The Renans decide exactly how much we'll have and when we'll have it. And that's that. We do our best to get around it. Everyone has to grow their own food and such behind the Renans' backs in order to get by. Thinking about it now, I wonder if they've always kept it meager so we would never have the energy to try to resist what they've done to us. Yeah. An empty stomach takes its toll on the body and the spirit after a while. It certainly does. I've definitely been How in situations like you, where I didn't have enough like. to eat. I may be Renan, but they don't like me either. I could be squeaky clean and they still wouldn't give me anything. <laughs> Did your stomach just... I didn't hear anything. <laughs> but you just ate. It's okay. How you're, are you all you're allowed to be I hungry. I I didn't hear anything. I wonder if that's got a deeper meaning. Is, I still have some I haven't eaten yet. Do you want is it? Is that like, is, is like sure. the little thorn core thing, like consuming her um, vitality? So even, it is almost like having, um, like leeches? Or not really leeches, but like things in your intestine that just like over time consume? Okay, there's the elevator. Hey, Shion. Where does your gun come from? I'm doing a better job of paying attention to these. It come from? When you're fighting, it looks like it just appears out of nowhere. Oh, that's transferal technology. When I don't need my weapon, I submerge it in empty space. And when I do, I summon it. So basically you're a transformer? Not really. You put it into hammer space? But it sounds pretty amazing. Huh? Well, that way you don't have to carry around any heavy weapons or worry about enemies trying to steal them, right? It's a pretty cool invention. You realize you're praising the technology of your enemy. Even if we're fighting right? somewhere we can admire? Sure. Technology is technology. It's not good or bad in and of itself. I guess that's true. I'm surprised she's surprised. I mean, I guess actually we definitely um, have acted. So yeah, we'll go to the residential quarter. That's the only thing I can figure out. I think, I think I've fully explored this area. Is this the technology? I'm amazed you guys can pull something like this off. For us, sites like this are completely normal. I also am noticing, I think it makes a little like da ding sound whenever there's a skit. So now I'm, I'm at least learning to associate that sound with uh, the fact there's another skit to listen to. This must be. The former owner's old wardrobe, yeah. I wonder how long they've hung here. They don't look like they've aged a day. The designs are a little dated, but it'll have to do. Well, that Listen, almost looks I like a layout. You care how you look, but we've got places to. Okay, I hate her huh. shoes. 
Although I, I, I am much, much, much happier with potentially. Because I was, I was, I, I, I've been thinking of trying to draw one of uh, a character for the end screen, and I, I didn't want to draw him because obviously his mask is coming off, but I didn't want to draw her because her outfit was so drab and plain. What is it? Oh. No, I, uh, nothing. We've kept Zephyr and the others waiting long enough. We should head back. Okay, let's head back to Ulzebeck. You're in a good mood. Were you that happy to find a new outfit? I don't know what you're talking about. I'm the same as ever. No, I've got to say, and I, I, I realize I got to say this last time, and it was a little bit because I was like, she's a girl, of course she cares about how she looks. I do admit running through a, like, dungeon in order to, like, be able to change clothes is a little bit much. Um, however, at the same time, if she's this used to combat, maybe it's not a whole lot for her. But yeah, I definitely, um, that's one of, kind of one of the things that I discovered, is that I used to not care about what I wore at all, like, clothes was clo clothes, clothes was clothes, yes, I'm, I'm very good at speaking. Alright, we'll go ahead and head back out of here. You said before that this probably used to be a supply depot, right? But Nay thought it was a Renan castle. Well, but she knows the Renan's a bit more better than you do. Is. Who knows? Who knows? What, can't I not know something? You didn't think I knew every last thing about my own kind, did you? I didn't say that. <sighs> from what I've heard, a lot of the materials that were initially brought over from Rena 300 years ago were repurposed for other things over time. I mean, that does make so sense. It's you entirely possible so much that material? this place used to be both a supply depot and a lord's castle at different points in time. They're not mutually exclusive. I couldn't tell you when the Lord's castle moved to its current location, though. Well, satisfied? Uh, yeah. Thank you. You know, for telling me about all that. Uh, it's not like I mentioned anything that useful. Come on, let's keep moving. That is still very, very interesting, though. I'm glad to know it. Okay, and as soon as I'm like, okay, we'll just, like, I'll cut out the uh, travel back to Uzbek. It's like, okay, should I fast travel? Let's see if we have to go back to Uzbek. I'm guessing. I was gonna say, I, I bet the uh, green thing. I was wondering if they're gonna have fast travel. It, it made sense for the way the game was laid out. Always good to be back in familiar territory. Hello? Have I already, like, gotten your quest? Hmm. Hey, you're the Iron Mask that Zephyr brought in. Uh, can I ask you for a small mm -hmm. favor? Yeah! Appreciate you being so quick to help. Yes, we're running short of food. It's something of an ongoing problem around <sighs> here. Soil doesn't have much to offer, and our crops are doing even worse than usual lately. I wouldn't ask you to fetch anything crazy, just some wheat and potatoes. I mean, yeah, I'm not doing anything with it. How's this? Huh? It's exactly. You, you sure I can have it? Must we need fresh food that grows out of the wild? I can't just ask anyone to go pick it with all the ziggles running around. <laughs> Listen, I, we couldn't exactly afford to risk throwing out the hornet's nest, reducing all the bright eyes cut and all. So, well, I mean, I don't think I had that much. Glad to hear it. So happy to do what I can. <laughs> Would I be able to see your face? But I can tell you have a good soul. I must offer in return. I can teach you this recipe that's really easy to prepare. Okay! I guess having a potato recipe. Thanks. Nicely done. Yes, I just complimented myself on a job well done. I can be super vain. Sorry for the side trip. We got to learn a new dish. I'll take what I can get, really. Let's cook it next time we make camp. Is that why she went along with this? Oh, I actually want to turn this in before I talk to you, but oh well. Crap! Yeah, Zephyr, we got a huge problem. Mm. Something bigger than our attack on Balsef's castle? I don't got time to worry about anything else right now. Yeah, it's bigger than that. Right, they started massacring folks over at Cal Caligula? Caliglia? What? For a master court, it's gonna be up to see skinny serious about retrieving it. 
They must be willing to kill a slave city to harvest the astral energy. Moth skull got hit real no bad. Way. Yeah, that's a bit of a, a... One of the worst things that can happen is if your hometown generates, like, produces a hero. Because bad, bad, bad things happen. Positive. Close to town where we attack. It's close to town where we attacked them earlier. And for our people there, but them's Damn. the breaks. Just where do you think you're going? You know where. Moskal. What good is it going to do to. I don't need your permission. <sighs> and of course, immediately, just perfectly in character, I go back and. I'm turn skeptical. Something. Right. Mm -mm. Hmm. Hmm. Sorry. Now, like I said, I'm, I'm on that one. I am definitely waiting. I don't think I can take it down yet. I don't think I can come anywhere close to taking it down yet. Let's go ahead and rest before we head into like a potentially very, very dangerous situation. Okay, so let's try this again. Whoops. There's enemies nearby. I can already hear them. Aha! Uh -huh. They're up inside this little secretive area. Some pepper. Not quite paprika, but it's close. Right, here goes. Here I come. Here I come. Oh, we got here actual linens. Cool, cool, cool. Here I come. Here's a healing. I really don't give up. Now you'll learn. Try harder. Not again. No, 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 no. Can I tell you, my teachers never said I was good at learning. It's over. Mega ray. You're finished. Take it. You're finished. You're mine. It's up. Eat dirt. Well, these guys got some hit points. I'll give them that. You're mine. It's over. I never miss. Take it. It's all mine. Okay, I didn't even see that guy. I'm not quite sure how he missed me, but I'm glad he did. Like, that's a cool attack and all. I, I appreciate it. Okay, I didn't know what the hell that was doing. It scared me a little bit. Just a little that bit. Took more energy than I expected. Yeah, they there are, are definitely... soldiers stationed at the garrison than usual. They must have gotten deployed to Mosgul. Duck. Cool. Everyone, please be safe. Excellent. Fast travel point. We like those. Now you'll learn. <laughs> Mess with my friends with you. You just crossed the wrong line. <laughs> well, that was super late. Show you any mercy. You've got spirit. It's over. Take this. It's over. Take this. Here I go. I'm only getting stuck. You're mine. Rising wyvern. Blue escape. Gemini. You're on. All right, there we go. Here, let me help. Blue escape. Mega red. Gemini. 
kind of have your close to be able to keep trying to do that jumping attack, even though it misses every time. And I'm not using their, their extra add-on thing. Hey, hang in there. Hey, damn it. Okay, there's a ladder over here. Is it a relevant ladder? Science point to no, but. And she's got kind of like a little search place. Too late. Stop. Please don't hurt the children. What's that? Damn it, I can't reach them in time. You could if you had moved. Get back, Cole. Duck. Cole! Stop! Not if I can help it! You're mine. Here I come! Rising Wyvern! Yeah. It's over! <laughs> Eat dirt! <laughs> Damn it! Here I come! Where are you going? You're finished! Take it! Damn it! Damn it! It's, it's over! By the power of one! Here I come! Huh? You're on! Try harder! By the power of water! Try harder! Take this! It's over! There we go. That one was actually a super, super professionally done one. I agree right? with it. What about the others? Those bastards still here? Iron Mask, take it easy. It's all right now. Is that all right? They came to try and kill you all? <laughs> Most were able to escape, and we've survived. Honestly, we got off lucky. It's often worse when a resistance group pops up. Only because we're not successful? Lucky? You call people getting slaughtered like this lucky? This is how things go when you're a Danon slave. Well, then uh, clearly the solution is to not be a Danon slave anymore. You're dead if you stand up to them. Keep your head down and do as you're told. At least then you have a chance to survive. You only have one life. That's why... I should wait for the right moment? Yes. So someone else dies instead while we live another day. Is that what you're saying, Doc? You're willing to risk everything on the chance that things will get better if we wait long enough. But what's the point of waiting if others have to die so that we can live? I don't disagree with him, but I... I this does feel a little bit overblown. Like, we're not in the middle of battle anymore. There's no immediate danger. I feel like there'd be... He wouldn't be yelling at Doc. What do you think happens when someone tries to resist? It'd be one thing if the rebel died and that was that. But it never ends with only one death. You've seen it for yourself. Everyone suffers for it. Knowing that, are you really going to tell me our waiting has no meaning? Well, but you're... The problem with waiting and hoping things get better is that you're not actually making things better. It, it, it's like waiting and hoping the sun comes out. Like, yeah, it'd be nice if it did, but... But that's... I understand not wanting to throw away the same lives we're trying to protect. That would be senseless. But if you wait too long, if you get too used to waiting, then eventually you lose the will to fight. I don't want that to happen to me. I've already met the Crimson Crows. People who risk their lives to fight the Renan's rule. People who know they might not live to see us win, but fight anyway to give those who come after a better chance. If my life is at risk either way, then I'd rather spend it fighting. So you've decided to take up the sword. I mean, can, can you not see us? Did you not see us fight the Renan right in front of us? Like, Doc? Um, Iron Mask is the one that can't see very well, not you? Yes, but not just any sword. It's a sword that only I can wield. But one that's also too powerful to use on my own. I doubt those who fought the Renans in the past ever had something like this on their side. That's why I'm willing to bet everything I have on this sword. I know it might mean more people end up in danger, but... Okay. If that's how you feel, then forget what I said. It's clear your time has come, Iron Mask. 
Currently, you and that sword are the only things capable of driving the Renans back. It's because of you that we're still alive right now. Okay, that's a really, really quick acceptance. That doesn't make a lot of sense, I'll be honest. Like, especially because he has even, like... From what Doc is thinking, he's probably just thinking that this, like, rusty crap sword is the one that um, Iron Mask is talking about. If there's a way through this for all of us, then I'll put my trust in you to find it. Doc, thank you. Now, remember what you said. And don't ever abandon that conviction of yours, all right? Right. I won't. You've grown so much since we first met. And you've met some good people, too. Maybe you have a chance after all. I mean, that's all we can... That's all RPG protagonist needs, is a chance? He'll make his own destiny. Alright, and with that, I'll go in in this episode. I will see you all next time, when uh, presumably we'll actually go and fight Balzac. Look forward to it, I know I am. What was that called? Bound and determined Richard, okay. That's Vidanya. Hello, hello everyone. Um, so it's actually funny, I thought I was done with the episode last time, and then after I like trimmed it down to what is sort of relevant to show, I was like, I'm not actually done yet. So let's go ahead and keep exploring. So the Rins are jerks? Do you know why? I just don't get it. Because the Rins are jerks? Some people just want to watch the world burn. Which is odd because they kind of control the world. What the hell is that? Oh, that's right. It, it wasn't making a noise, so I got a little confused. I got a monocle. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. I'm surprised there are owls here, too. Yeah, there are more of them around than I thought. Yeah, I'm, I'm a little confused, but uh, like before they were making a little twilly twilly no noise, and it was annoying. Damn it. If our head's down, do we get, and this is the things we get? And this is what we had to say. This kill them out of second thought. So that's uh, like we ran into Doc, but like I I know the thing is telling me to go back to um I just feel yeah return to Uzabek and I'm just sort of like that's odd. We found a cave of solitude. Okay, and that's cool. It kind of tells you, hey, here's the stuff you found. You want to go back and look again? But back to Uzabek it is. I feel like I'm always fast traveling to Uzabek. It's almost like I'm playing uh, like um, MMORPG. Back. And that's a hub Hurry city. On We've been waiting for you. You're not going to ask what happened? I'm sure he actually has a pretty good idea. I can tell enough by the way you look right now. You can't even read his facial expression? I see. Zephyr, I need to ask you something. Would you have invited me to join you, even if I didn't have the Blazing Sword? Uh, yes. Obviously. If the Blazing Sword was a requirement, then there'd be nobody in the Crimson Crows. Of course. Why, though? There are many folks out there who are crazy enough to resist the Renans like we do. So when I find someone with the knack for it, I make sure to keep them close. That almost reminds me of, like, keep your friends close, your enemies closer, which is not what he means, but it's kind of what I've been thinking of. Plus, you remind me of another guy we lost. Did you lose him, or is he wearing a mask now? Maybe deep down, I'm trying to help you as a way of making amends for what I couldn't do for him. That's another kind of awkward thing. Like, I don't think most people are self-aware to just say that, especially to relative strangers. But if you don't want this, just say the word. I'm not going anywhere. If it weren't for you, I wouldn't even be here. 
<laughs> That's the pro Iron Mask, you have so many people in your life that um, if they weren't for them, you wouldn't be around. You can't be lifelong indebted to all of them. If you say so. All right. Come on in. Thanks. Yes. I swear, th this game and its aggressive side questing. Hey, I right. have a minute of your What's time. Wrong? Well, all I've been doing since you got here is fight, right? Trying to get worried about how your weapon's holding up. After all, you're about to fight Balsef. You need to prepare for whatever you might throw at you. I have a blacksmith here on site. You see what he's got tempered? Got it. Oh, that's, that's, that's helpful. We've reached our destination. Yeah, we definitely want to get that done. I was actually wondering if we were ever going to have any weapon shop or if everything was just going to be found along the way. Where have you been this entire time? Hey. Yeah, the blacksmith here? Yeah. Yeah. Darren will be in. Dish it to pop tools. Okay, he does not... I'm looking at his face, I'm like, he does not something. In addition to farm tools, I also make weapons for the Crimson Crows. No one it's for you, I just had to help. Of course, the best word I can manage with the materials I got. It's odd that a crude sword is not as good as a long sword. So I've got everything except for the Astral Crystal Grain. And the fact that I've never seen any makes me think I can't just go out and find some. Interesting. Oh, in the sell menu, not the buy menu. I was like, I'll definitely take some of this stuff. <laughs> so, what do you think about mm -hmm. this? It's mostly got out of me right now. Bring me more materials, I'll whip you up something grander. Thanks. It's pretty grand enough as it is. I never knew Zuckle parts were so versatile. Good, good. Thanks, glad to hear it. I'll leave the rest in your hands. Go get rid of hell and set us free, all right? Is this something you're into? Yeah. These ingenious structures and gadgets never cease to amaze me. Check out these handle grooves. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to be seeing here. I'm also curious. I don't know how I like didn't think about this before. But in terms of items... So is that... Hold on, hold on, hold on. Is that still just like permanent? Like every time you use, it just raises your attacks for the rest of the game? I see very little reason not to just use everything. I'll figure out who to give it to. Like obviously attack plus. He is our little attacker at the moment. I know in the past it also like killed you up to full. I Did doubt they would make a fundamental change the way that those we work. Can't chase after every little thing. All right, everyone. It's time. Let's do it. Remember, eyes on the prize. We're after Balsef. Nothing else. Cut off the head, and the snake perishes. Hit them head on, however. And we won't make it through the castle gates, but alone reach Balsef himself. Luckily. We have an ace up our sleeve. We need to do everything in our power to make sure that ace reaches Balsef's jugular. To that end, I'll be splitting us up into separate forces. You just said all of us hitting them head on would be useless. 
Why would we divide ourselves up? Because we're the decoys. We'll buy our ace in the hole the time they need to get in. We only need to cause enough of a ruckus around the castle to distract the enemy. That said, we need to look like the real deal. Which is why I'll be tagging along too. You too, Zephyr? So, who's going to take on Balsef? The Iron Mask. I'm counting on you and Xion to make your way to wherever Balsef's hiding. Once there, you drive that flaming sword right through him. I'd have to wonder how much- You aren't seriously sending in just those two, are you? One of them's a Renin. No one said the plan was perfect. Wait, that's your defense? By far, the biggest danger is the one you two will be facing. The fate of this quest rests entirely in your hands. Which is why you get the final say. You want out? Now's the time to say so. I mean, I'm not going and anywhere. If you say no? Then you say no. Just means we're back to square one, that's all. And I go back to being a slave. It's your life. No, it isn't. Ball's in your court, soldier. What do you say? I... I want to fight. But for what? What are you fighting for? To free the Danans from the... So say freedom, obviously. Oppressors. To no longer die at the whim of another. To break the shackles of our enslavers. To live and taste freedom! Now you're talking. I believe we have our ace in the hole, people. Hold on to that belief, and we just might break through that wall yet. And what about you? I was born ready. Now can we get this show on the road? <laughs> There's a gate on your right once you leave here. Go through it and ride the elevator you'll find. I'll send ahead a few friendly faces to keep watch on your way. If you get into any trouble, look to them for support. We all clear? Good. May this battle herald the end of the Renan's bloody three-century reign. Well, it's the beginning of the end. There are still, a, like, four other areas. Even if we take down Balzac. To your battle stations, everyone. So there's an elevator. I'm so bad at directions, you guys. An elevator to my right as I leave here. Are they talking about this like whole like little ladder system up here? That goes out to the wastes. No, that's where I found the owl. See anybody around here who could use our help? We can't chase after every little thing. I'm officially gonna have to go fight that thing just so I can get it to shut up. So where is this elevator to the right? Right is this way. Okay, there's the elevator. Balsef's castle should be just above us. All right. And let's use that elevator thing. <sighs> I still can't believe this is happening. We're really about to face off against a Renan Lord. I mean, only oh, if we get there? You're in pretty high spirits for a guy going into a life and death battle. I'm not saying I'm not worried. But you have to remember, 
this is the first time any of us Danans have really had any hope. What about you? Are you scared at all? I don't have time to be scared. This is only the first step in a long, long plan of mine. You want to take down all five lords, right? It's hard to believe it'll ever happen. I mean, if you can do one, just but repeat the process. Will. I know. I haven't forgotten our deal. See that you don't. That said, if we lose, we might suffer a fate worse than death, you know. That's probably true. But instead of worrying about it, wouldn't it be a better use of our time to figure out ways to avoid that and not lose? I suppose. Whatever happens, I'll put everything I have into winning. You can count on that. Alright, so I will see you next time. For real this time. <laughs> Don't go anywhere. We will be back and we will fight. I'll go ahead and actually say Balsaf. I'll go ahead and say his name correctly. I can at least give him I can at least give him that honor. He doesn't have long to live. 